something that I try to use to seal up the ingrain. Now, it's not like a have to that you do seal up the ingrain. You don't have to put this on there. You can still cut logs. I mean, uh, there have been logs that I've gotten before that have been sitting for a long time that I never be, was able to get the end sealed up. But if I, but I have the chance if I get a fresh cut log or something, I like to put a sealer on the end of the log. And all that does is just help the drying process uh, slow it down a little bit so it's not running out the ends of the log. It's drying in a in a better, uh, uh, slower way, but a more stable way. Um, also, I like to seal the log when I get it because then once I mill it up, the ingrain is already sealed so that it's kind of helping prevent some checks or major checking in your lumber slabs or logs. And so I'm going to show you what I use. Uh, when I first started, I would just use like latex paint. Uh, whatever worked in it and it worked well for me i'd use some outdoor latex paint worked great on some sycamore logs and some white oak logs that i did but now uh, i found that i use uh anchor seal and i'm going to show you a little bit about that kind of show you how i cover it and uh what it should look like after that and it's pretty beneficial to use uh for your milling especially if you're not going to be able to get to the log immediately but also if you do get to the log pretty quickly, at least your ingrain is now sealed up. A couple things that I use, I mean, I just, I order Anchor Seal 2. Um, get it by the gallon. I think you can get it by the five gallon buckets. I just usually buy a gallon every once in a while. I, to be honest with you, I couldn't tell you how long it lasts me. It really just depends on the size of the log. And I just, I keep a brush. I keep the same one. I just wrap it in a uh, Walmart bag or whatever grocery sack. And I mean, it holds for a long time. I've had this brush for a long time. It allows me to seal up the ends. Is that so? I'm about to show you kind of how I put it into place. I got some ash that I'm going to put it on and kind of let you see what it looks like. I mean, this is the log I'm about to mill. I've already put some on this. You can kind of see it's it's really it's cold, cold for Arkansas. It's pretty chilly out here right now in the 30s. Um, and I put it on last night and it's drying and it's slowly drying, but you can see. I put a very generous coat on there. It goes on and it's gonna look like white paint, but once it dries, you can kind of see it dries pretty clear and it's got a, uh, a waxy coat on it. You can, you'll can you be able to feel that kind of wax on there. I just try to put a very generous coat on there because um, I, I wanna try to prevent as much checking as possible. The quicker and the sooner that you can put this on a log, um, the better is my experience that I've found so far. And so here's the two logs that I've got right here, two of them. Um, I'm about to just seal these ingrains up um, as well. Some of it's already starting to crack, check. You can see it on that one right there. Um, but that's okay. I'm just trying to prevent. Uh, big checking is going to happen at times. You can't always stop that. But again, this is not going to stop all checks, but going to really help prevent major checking or a lot of it that can happen. These are some pretty cool ash. Uh, I'm going to try to get milled up in the next couple days. This one's got a little crotch section on it. It's got a little curve to it, too. It'll be a neat little board. Um, then you got this one. Uh, and then, again, I still got the one over on my log hauler. I'll go do as well. As you can see, it's painted, and it, like I said, it goes on white. So uh, it looks like a paint, but it dries, as you saw earlier from the other one. It dries pretty clear, and so I just try to put a generous coat on all the ingrain surfaces that are exposed you can see even here on these crotch sections i try to put it on both of them um just paint it on and let it sit i don't i don't worry about like getting a little dirt in my wax or anything like that or like washing out my paint brushes i'm not going to be that anal about it because this is just really just kind of keeping wood to slow down in the drying process that is just a little bit about uh painting on and what i use to seal up the ingrain and kind of helping prevent checking. If you have any questions, man, feel free to reach out. Um, leave a comment below, and I would love to be able to answer that as best as I can. Thank you.